Hello friends! I miss you Nellie and we're going to read another story today. We're going to read Pete the Cat and His Magic Glasses and it was written and illustrated by Kimberly and James Dean. So they they wrote the book, they wrote the words in the book and they also drew the pictures. Let's see what this one's about. Pete the cat did not feel happy. Pete had never, ever, ever been grumpy before. Pete had the blue cat blues. I wonder what that means. Blue cat blues looks very sad. <gasps> then as if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. Does he look like he has a frown on? Kind of hard to tell. Let's see. But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy. Today, he said, these cool blue magic sunglasses make the blues go away. Ooh, look, he has magic sunglasses. I have some too and wear them. So when I look through here, it looks blue. They help you see things in a whole new way. I wonder if they're going to work. Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around. He says, right on. The birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Oh, that changed his mood. Do sunglasses change your mood? Hmm. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. He went on his way, and soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. Pete said, what's wrong, Squirrel? He says, I'm so mad. Nothing is going my way. I only found one acorn today. Oh, he's really mad. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Squirrel put on the cool, cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Look at him. He looks awesome. The birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. It changed his mood too. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and continued on his way. Soon he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle did not look happy. <gasps> look at Turtle over here. What's wrong with him? I wonder why he's not happy. What's wrong, Turtle? He asked. I'm so frustrated. Ooh, frustrated. That's a big word. Frustrated means he, he just doesn't know what to do. He, he's trying everything, but he just can't figure it out. Nothing is going my way. I am all upside down today. When a turtle gets upside down, it's hard for him to turn over. Let's see what happens. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Look at how unhappy he looks. Let's see if those glasses work for him. Turtle put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Far out, the birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Look at how happy he looks now. And he got back up on his feet. Pete kept rolling along until he saw Alligator. Alligator did not look happy. Uh -oh. What's wrong, Alligator? Pete asked. I am so sad. Nothing is going my way. No one wants to play with me today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Let's see if that works. Alligator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around, rocking. The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Ah, oh, he looks happy. Look at the cat, he's riding him. That's silly. 
Pete was rolling along and feeling all right when suddenly he fell back. The cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Uh-oh, Pete didn't know what to do without those sunglasses. They broke. Hmm. Just then, Pete looked up at the tree. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. Oh, that's a good thing to say, huh? Because we don't, the glasses really don't change the way we see. He's got to think of a new way. Pete looked around without his sunglasses. He says, too cool. The birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. And we're feeling all right. Look, they're all happy and none of them have the sunglasses on. So it just helped them to look at a different way of feeling. But even without the sunglasses, they're all all right still. The end. Pete the Cat is one of my favorite authors. Remember, we were reading a lot of Pete the Cat books this week. Thank you guys for joining me for our story time. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.